Yu-Gi-Oh has come a long way since its inception in 1996. What started as a simple manga quickly evolved into a worldwide trading card game phenomenon. In the early days of the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game, a much simpler gameplay was on offer. Fewer card types, fewer strategies, basically it was what we refer to as Unga Bunga Yu-Gi-Oh. But as the anime continued to grow in popularity, the game did as well. So Konami decided to spice it up a bit and add some new types, new card mechanics, and new strategies. These things were all introduced, creating a more complex and intricate interaction between each player. And this also made the game more challenging and rewarding at the end of completing an event. Competitive Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments have been a staple of this game's evolution. Regardless if you're playing online or you're playing in person, all around the world, people are competing to be the next king of games right now. And I think that is absolutely amazing. But right now there is a debate going on within the Yu-Gi-Oh community. Should competitive matches be best of one or best of three? On one hand, a best of one tournament is much faster and it is much more efficient. Think about your games in Master Duel and Duel Links and other online simulators where you can get in for a quick game and get out. These events could be more accessible to spectators, providing Konami with an opportunity to generate more revenue and to generate more interest in the game. However, Best of One also opens up a wealth of problems. And one of those things are unsatisfactory duels. Duels can be left up to the luck of the draw. And at the end of the day, a player with a poor hand will never have an opportunity to recover and could be smoked at a major event. That is not anything anyone is interested in seeing. Everybody wants to see an awesome duel. Nobody wants to see a knockout in the very first round. Best of threes offer a more strategic approach to the game. Players have the opportunity to learn their opponent's play styles and adjust their deck and adapt their strategies in any way they, they see fit to compete. But, and here's the big but here, best of three also means longer matches, which can be a challenge for organizers and players to attend the tournament. On the other hand, best of threes offer a more strategic approach to the game. Players have the opportunity to learn their opponent's play style, adjust their deck, and adapt their strategies to be competitive. If we're looking to measure a duelist's skill level and the power level of their deck, objectively, this is the best method. But, and here's the big but here, if we're doing best of three rounds, that means that the matches and also the entire event will be way more time consuming often forcing the event to last two days or more from a spectator standpoint is really hard to consume at all. You would have to only receive it in bits and pieces and from clips and reports of those who are truly dedicated to watch the entire event. But truthfully, it's just too much to watch over such a long period of time. And if we're looking to just understand the skill and power level of these decks and duelists, well, there seems to be no middle ground. Ultimately, the decision on whether to play best of one or best of three should depend on the goals of the event and the preferences of the players that are participating. Whether you prefer the fast paced action of best of ones or the strategic landscape of best of threes, one thing is clear, Yu-Gi-Oh is an exciting game no matter how you choose to play. Don't forget to special summon that like button and I appreciate you for watching. As always, my boys, keep it dang.